So hydrogen is a really exciting technology and it's been talked about for many years. Um, I think hydrogen uh, is one of a number of uh, low carbon heat options that are available. There really is no one option or silver bullet for solving what is a really challenging uh, issue which is the decarbonisation of heat. Hydrogen is not new, it's been used in industrial processes uh, up and down the country for a long, long time. It is a, a secondary form of energy, so it's not generally uh, found free in the, uh, on Earth. If it comes from uh, reformation of natural gas, uh, it can be very, very low carbon if you strip out and capture the carbon associated with that process. However, if it comes from renewable generation, as in uh, from kinetic energy from wind, for example, then it is in, in essence a zero carbon uh, fuel. So we're definitely not starting from scratch with hydrogen. In fact, with all the other gas distribution network and transmission network operators in the UK, we've actually set out a pathway uh, to decarbonisation, which uh, includes using hydrogen as an energy vector. But there's a huge opportunity for scale of uh, hydrogen from electrolysis, and that's an area where I expect to see significant developments uh, in the future. One of the top priorities from the work that's been done looking at hydrogen is safety, as you might expect. The one thing that is absolutely essential is that if we are to move over to hydrogen, that it does not present a greater risk to, uh, to consumers than, than natural gas. Hydrogen, very similar to natural gas, is, uh, is, is a fuel that, that, that is hazardous and potentially dangerous. However, a lot of the testing that we've done has shown that hydrogen is actually uh, safer than natural gas at lower levels. You know, did you know that there are over a quarter of a million homes in Japan that have uh, hydrogen fuel cells in their homes? And that's a great example of a, a, a country can uh, really capture hydrogen energy to make uh, heating more affordable, more reliable, and more carbon neutral, and that's something we really have to think about. One of the key issues, of course, with hydrogen is that the production of hydrogen, currently the most cost-effective uh, and large-scale way of doing so is with steam methane reform, so it's still relying on using a natural gas. Um, so it's particularly topical as well because we want to be exploring further options for electrolysis, bringing the cost down and trying to improve the uh, green credentials of making hydrogen. Hydrogen will play a, a hugely important role in the future of heating our homes and businesses, uh, but it will require action and it will require leadership.